Cebu, one of the fastest growing regions in the Philippines outside of Manila. Fueled by a rising real estate, shipping, business process outsourcing, communications and technology industry, and a booming tourism sector. Now more than ever, the region's academic institutions are faced with adapting to the challenges of an ever-increasing pace of development while preparing a future labor force equipped for the fourth industrial revolution. The industries of the future are interconnected, borderless, unbound by the limits of human labor and manufacturing, smart, and ultimately disruptive. With this milieu, the pioneers of Cebu Technological University's Industries 4.0 program are forging a path guided by the university's mission and mandate to be the region's premier technological university. A journey paved with many little early successes. Here are their stories. I could say that this facility, the Fab Lab, and the FIC, which are shared service facilities of, of DTI, with the leadership, of course, of our university president, is a success story, a big part which is relevant in Industry 4.0. Our graduates are at edge. Our engineering students who are now at present having their on-the-job training in industries are readily hired by the industry because they already have these skills, they know how to run or operate these equipment that are relevant in the modern technology. Our students in the graduate school looked into community extension projects as part of their um, assignment in a community extension. They found out one activity like uh, Hablon as a livelihood a project that is worth emulating by other countries and other institutions, other universities who would like to make a difference in the communities that they are serving. So we don't just do instruction inside the university, we go to the communities. And this is, I think, uh, one great achievement for the university, not just for the Ardo campus, but for the entire university. So to be able to intervene with this kind of dilemma, we did product development. We did not only improve the process of Hablon, so we innovated, mechanized some of the parts of the loom to decrease the production time, Therefore, to provide our weavers with more time to actually weave. Because of the rise and the increase in demand of handwoven fabric, we can also provide our weavers with a sustainable source of livelihood. So, so they earn much more than what they have earned in weaving. Our president, our administration is very supportive of this community extension project. University researchers are involved in the policy-making process, such as the policy on food safety. This is a guide for good manufacturing practices implementation. CTU leads in providing more knowledge and technology creations, policies, and programs through partner collaborations with industry and people empowerment. We are very proud of this. This is state-of-the-art with good facilities and enough budget for us to do quality research. With the thrust and the programs of our president, we are actually gearing towards the realization of Industry 4.0 in Cebu Technological University. Every institution has their own data of their own information, but with Industry 4.0, there would be connectivity in all of those data. So we could be able to share what we have here to other agencies in other countries. CTU received various awards and recognitions from prestigious universities and organizations. The top utility model filed and the top registered utility model from 2009 to 2018. We have already produced 
more than 10 utility models and we have already applied for more than 20 utility models for the innovation products that we have done in the center and we also were able to publish articles in accredited journals for ISI and CHED which is very crucial in a university status. I want our research here at the college to be published and cited uh, in international journals. And for extension, I want our research findings actually to reach the farmers. The discovery of the EPN, uh, we do actually have entomopathogenic nematodes here in Cebu and that they have very good potentials especially in controlling insect pest, uh, the common pest attacking the vegetable. I'm also proud that many of the farmers actually here in Cebu and in the region, uh, Region 7 uh, for that matter, is also being exposed to this and hopefully they are now currently using the technology. This uh, nicer or the need centers for R&D in the region is funded by the Department of Science and Technology Grant and Aid Program. The objective of this project is to assess the uh, flora and fauna. Inisiya, part ginis among mission na amo i-inform ang community of the urgency and the need and our responsibility as people na kinahangla na ito i-address with ang climate change. And you know the direction of the university is to convert the university into research, innovation, and smart university. Cebu Technological University is poised to lead the way as the premier technological university in the Philippine South. <music>